Vivo's latest smartphone has Snapdragon 855 chip and 12 gigabytes of RAM. But that is not the most interesting thing about the phone. What is, is the fact that it doesn't have any ports or buttons and is made to feel like a continuous piece of equipment, much more like a pebble. You're watching here today Tech, I'm Rahul Sethi and let's take a look at the Vivo Apex 2019. The Vivo Apex 2019 has been rumored since long and what reports were saying is the fact that Vivo just allowed a few people to just feel the smartphone, not see it, but just touch it and feel it and tell them that what it feels like. And many of them said it feels like a pebble. And that is what Vivo tries to achieve with the Apex 2019. It doesn't have a water drop notch, but the phone itself feels like a water drop. The phone is rounded, curved, and has no ports or buttons whatsoever. Like the volume rocker and the lock button are replaced by touch pressure sensitive buttons something similar to what we saw on the HTC U11 Plus. There's no headphone jack, but there's also no Type-C USB port for charging or data transfer. A magnetic connector can be attached at the back to charge the phone or transfer data. Also, there is no micro SD card or SIM slot. The phone uses a built-in SIM card called the eSIM, which we have seen on the latest iPhones and the iWatch as well. You say that's all okay, but how do you place calls? It's a phone after all. So the earpiece, as you'll see, it's not visible on the phone, but the display itself has been made to vibrate in such a manner that it can act as an earpiece. This technology called the vibrating display speaker has long been tested by smartphone makers and is also being used by LG on the upcoming G8. Now you said that is all okay, but how do you take selfies on this smartphone? You cannot. Vivo has not revealed that if there is a front camera on this device or not, and as far as one could figure out from the design of it, there's also no pop-up camera anywhere on the phone. Now you'll also not see a fingerprint scanner on the device, but that is obviously placed under the display. In fact, Vivo was the first smartphone maker to bring an in-display fingerprint scanner. But on the Vivo Apex 2019, it has made all the screen area available for fingerprint scanning. Sometime back, we saw a leak that said that Samsung is planning to bring this kind of technology and it showed a patent that said that all of the screen area will act as a fingerprint and as soon as the finger is brought near the display, the pixels, that is the display pixels, will light up to take more information or rather more accurate information from the finger and deliver it to the sensor placed beneath the display. Now, Vivo is not using a continuous sensor. A lot of small sensors will be used to make the whole screen area available for fingerprint scanning. So the result is a curvy, continuous piece of device that has no breaks or seams whatsoever on its surface. And if you would want to draw a parallel, it feels like a spaceship that has no visible engines, but still flies. But it's not coming to the market anytime soon because it's a concept phone very similar to the original Vivo Apex. But we may see some features tumbling down to other smartphones that Vivo will be launching this year. Like we saw the pop-up camera coming from Vivo Apex to Vivo Next and also the front fingerprint scanner. But will the company be able to keep the design very similar and what all features will be able to make it to the phones we can eventually buy from the market? Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Also, if you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos on technology, smartphones and other gadgets like this. Thank you for watching.